Okay, I believe we're back. So like I've been doing in, in the past few streams, in the past solo streams, um, I have my calculator out and I'm going to find three random numbers which will associate two words I have on this piece of paper here. And I will uh, try to describe the random uh, the random topic that is generated. So the first random number is 25. So that noun is a flamingo. The second random number is one. So the verb is run. And the third random number is 21. And so that means that the adverb is haphazardly. So if a flamingo so we'll get pink here. If we have a flamingo, then then the uh, it's going to be relatively pink. And actually, flamingos are born white, but um, they eat a lot of shrimp. So we'll assume that this is a uh, a flamingo that is fairly good at fishing. Um, so he's very pink, and um, so I'm going to just uh, color in some of the details here. Okay, so it was a flamingo running haphazardly, and uh, it may be that flamingos don't have uh, yellow beaks or legs but actually I think I think they are pink so we'll get a um, different shade of pink here All right, hold on. okay so we're gonna get a different shade of pink here and that actually does look a little more like a flamingo beak, so that's good. Um, so flamingos, well, okay, so um, one thing that would cause a flamingo to run haphazardly is the fact that they have backwards knees. So when they have uh, their feet out here in the water, I'm going to put some water in here, then you would find that the flamingo wouldn't necessarily have the right um, angle uh, to run here because you can see the knees here are backwards so oh, the flamingo needs an eye just to make it not scary but um, so yeah with these backwards knees the flamingo would not be able to uh, run very fast and it would be um, that is somewhat why flamingos tend to fly to wherever they want to go or at least hop but um, yeah if, if a flamingo started to run the uh, the angle of these uh, of these legs here wouldn't necessarily be um, apt for the motion of running, it may be better for a, a springing motion where the uh, the bird sort of bounces along, but you'll find that with the water here, there's also a lot of drag in the water, so we get some uh, some trails off here. Uh, that was supposed to be gray but we'll just act like that was on purpose. So the flamingo will be uh, dragging its feet in the water, which already causes a normal, uh, a normal running animal to have problems moving fast, but because of these backwards knees, the motion it needs to pick up and then put back down is not the... Uh, most efficient motion for um, for running, uh, especially for running long distances, considering the size of the muscles on their legs, which are almost non-existent. So, 
the I don't think that there is any other way a flamingo could run, and um, so I would assume that any running by a flamingo would be relatively haphazard. But if the shrimp are on sale or at the buffet is uh, is giving out shrimp cocktail then the flamingo may feel it needs to be more pink so it will run however it can this is supposed to be pink it will run however it can to get the shrimp cocktail so the flamingo here will run to the cocktail and the cocktail will probably be orange just because that's how it usually goes maybe a little red, reddish orange alright, but um, I think that is a finished product so uh, to summarize here, the angle of the backward knees is not is not the most efficient angle for running in general, but because flamingos are normally in the water, the, nor the uh, flamingo would be dragging its feet, and the uh, it would not go very fast. And also, it would be more efficient if the flamingo were hopping along using its wings to generate some lift, but uh, you'll find that these wings do not use the Bernoulli effect. They are uh, specifically with the thrust downwards so it is physically the air below the wings pushing the bird up but because the bird is so light and the wings are so large the drag of the wings is able to create enough lift for the bird to fly